Do I think it's worth investing in a tutor or should I diversify the books I'm reading more first? If you've already got a couple of books that you're using and those books are using real LSAT questions, you don't necessarily need to go beyond those books. The one addition I would suggest is to use, of course, real LSAT prep tests. So if you're using some textbooks, you're using the actual LSAT exams, that alone is enough to help you identify some weak areas. Once you have found those weak areas, then I would say jump ahead from there, seek out the tutor, find your areas of concern, bring to your tutor, bring them the three to five hardest problems you've encountered and the three to five biggest mindset or conceptual questions that you have so that you can make the most of your time with them. Because otherwise, a lot of tutors will just start lecturing at you from square one, giving you the foundation on every aspect, but you don't want to necessarily hire a tutor to teach you the entire curriculum when you can read it in a book or watch it in videos for much, much less or even free if you're using my YouTube channel, for example. So for that reason, I'd say ask them the sort of nuanced, nuanced, excuse me, nuanced questions that you can't get answered elsewhere from reading an explanation or watching a video. Ask them the things that you've looked around already and could not find the answers to where you'll, where you'll benefit from their interaction and they're taking a look at your personal thought process. That's the biggest piece of advice that I could give because over the years, I found too many people coming to me just kind of saying, I'm having trouble with games. What should I do? And that requires a little bit of parsing out what their thought process is. And so if they can find that out for themselves first, that's great. That saves us some time. If not though, because, I, because I've been doing this for a while, what I'll, do, I'll typically do is I'll ask them some nuanced questions about different game types. I'll maybe have them walk through a game or two in front of me or I'll have them record themselves doing a game, then send me the video and I'll watch their pen on the page to see how they're doing it. And then maybe I'll see some areas where they could have solved it more efficiently.